Hello there, welcome back to DanielRosal.tech on YouTube Medium and at DanielRosal.tech. So in my main video on backing up shared hosting environments to a Linux file system, now it doesn't actually really make a difference what OS you're backing up to, uh, but there is a problem when you're trying to back up a shared hosting environment. Now if you just need to back up a static website, whether that you know a website with static files, then you can simply back up the file system and I described how to do that uh, in this uh, in this medium post that's on medium Daniel's tech world look for the how to back up shared hosting onto a Linux host post and basically you can just use rsync and uh, simply SSH and this is this assumes that you have SSH access to the remote server but you can just use rsync with a few operators here uh, connect into the remote server um, your domain at the server public IP um, and then just back up, uh, choose the path to back up. So this in a typical shared hosting environment, the path is going to look something like home forward slash your domain forward slash public HTML. Now this is important because that's where that's where typically in shared hosting all the um, that from this directory and above uh, is exposed to the public internet. So typically if you just capture here, so you can see there's a trailing slash. So everything beyond public HTML will be backed up and then just pick a local path so you can run this uh, script on a uh, NAS or you can run it on a Linux computer for instance um, and you can just put that as a cron job and uh, that will automatically back up a file system. Now the only problem is if you are using and I mentioned this in the backing up shared hosting video if you're using something like a WordPress website so that application Contail, contains obviously both a file system and a MySQL database. So in order to create a backup of that, we are gonna want to back up the MySQL database as well. So I described um, that in this post, when, when you're in shared hosting, you have access to this part of the file system, so it's above home. Now you don't back up a MySQL by backing up the actual database, but there is a utility called MySQL dump, uh, which you can use. Now, if you look through the documentation on the MySQL website, you can see that there is a way to do MySQL dump and uh, append this all databases, and that will actually dump. Uh, and MySQL dump is a utility for creating export, backup exports that you can then use to restore uh, or can be used for that purpose. Um, so you can see here, um, you can use, if you just use, if you want to just do it for a single database, you actually can emit this uh, tac tac databases. You can just do the syntax, it's pretty simple. My, MySQL dump, uh, the database name, um, this, uh, you know, forward uh, arrow, and then the export. So, um, and then you, there's a couple more uh, things you need to append to that to get the username and the password. So if we look here, um, so this is the syntax I've written out for a typical WordPress. Uh, database so mysql dump minus u and this is the mysql user minus p single quotation marks um, and then the mysql password now the interesting thing is that looks wrong to a lot of people including me uh, that there's no space between the minus p and that's obviously for password and the password in single quotation marks that is correct you need to have no space there then this is the database uh, being backed up then, as I said, the forward arrow, I'm sure there's a better word for that, I think it's a carrot. Um, and then the full path, and important here, the full path that you want the back, where you want the backup to go. So if you are looking to use this process to back up a uh, WordPress database, um, the MySQL database for a particular WordPress site, then a simple way to find your uh, username, the, the MySQL, um, username, the MySQL database name, and the MySQL password, all that information, it's uh, simply towards the top of my wp-config.php. So go to your wherever your WordPress is installed, navigate to the WordPress root directory, and just inspect <coughs> wp-config.php. And I've just copied and pasted the first few lines and just obviously scrambled these credentials. So we can see here, if we zoom in, MySQL settings, we have the database name, we have the uh, MySQL database username connecting to the database, and we have the password, which I've obviously changed here, so that's actually enough information. These two are the same, so we can just uh, copy to the top of our clipboard over here the uh, database name and the username and our uh, dummy passwords, and we can just put these towards the top like this. 
Next thing I would uh, go ahead and do is I'm just going to copy the command onto the clipboard because that command is actually good enough to uh, just to back up the database basically. So I'm just going to copy that now in my C panel and going into my cron job manager over here. Um, and I just want to then enter, go down to the bottom and I'm going to enter the, uh, the uh, command. Okay, so basically I'm just going to paste in the command and now we just simply need to change swap out uh, what was in this example. So my SQL dump minus u for user and our user is going to be uh, the MySQL user minus p and uh, we have to be careful here because we need to preserve the quotation marks and there we know we need to not introduce a space so overriding what's between those quotation marks with our actual password and we can just copy uh, directly here from the user to the database because in this case they are the same uh, very very simple syntax and then the output format is uh, as you can see home your domain backup daily mysql backup.sql so basically what i would do is go into file manager and um, i just created a folder there called backup and uh, that's where i'm going to dump out this daily mysql backup now of course it's just just to, it's important to make sure that the where your um, uh, dump is going to go is not in so you wouldn't want to put it in anywhere at or above public html because then it would be publicly accessible so you just want to make sure that it's uh, not in a publicly accessible part of the web server. Uh, then you want to simply add this as a job and what I want to do, so this, this video complements my um, backing up um, shared hosting via rsync video so I'll put a link to that in the description but let's say you're running that job every 24 hours so you simply want to have this running at some interval that's more frequent so for example if the backup jobs run, if the backup job runs at midnight you might want to back this up at 11 11 uh, p.m because the mysql dump doesn't produce a particularly huge uh, file um, i would just do it at a more frequent interval so for example that could be minute zero uh, every 12 hours every day every month and every weekday and then just add that as a cron job um, and then in the top now this is kind of the nicer cron manager you get in cpanel and it gives you the option to set up an email address um, to send the output of the job or you can obviously suppress the output by using the uh, the dev not not to send at the end of the command um, so and then just click on add new cron job so just click the button and now you can see that this is running every 12 hours um, a minute zero of the hour every day every month every weekday um, it's running my the mysql dump command and it'll back up the WordPress database of and just make sure as I said that because if you have shared hosting and a bunch of WordPress installations you just want to make sure that you're backing up the right database and to do that you just need to go into WP config uh, you can of course do this in other ways uh, you can go into the PHP uh, the MySQL database inspector but this this is quick and easy and then it'll output a uh, output this here so you just then want to make sure um, that when you're when you're building the rsync command uh, or commands if you want to do it separately that you back up uh, you also bring in the database into your backup um, by backing up the backup folder and uh, then you'll have both the file system and the database and I actually did recently do a test restore on a MySQL database backed up using this method and it worked perfectly so I can just confirm that this uh, simple one line MySQL dump command works for the purpose of restorability. So that's just basically the procedure uh, for adding the MySQL backup to the file system backup when you are creating a manual backup of a shared hosting environment onto, as I said, a Linux host. If you're in, and you, but you, it can also be a Windows host because there is a way to interface using rsync on that too. And of course, the beauty of rsync is that it's incremental, although the MySQL backup here will actually overwrite the file every time that it runs, but you're not talking about um, big data generally in the MySQL for small WordPress installations. So hope that video has been useful. Any questions or comments, I'm available at danielrosal.com. Look forward to bringing another video out onto this channel soon.